Imagine that it is a cold, late night in winter. You are standing alone on a city street. The city's sounds have died down, and all you hear is the sound of wind blowing, blowing. It is icy, crisp, and biting. Fresh smelling, but harsh against your skin. You wrap your coat more tightly around you. You pull your collar up close about your face. You're standing before a large, imposing church built of massive gray stones, a cathedral with towering steeples and heavy, dark wooden doors. A large stained glass rose window above the central door is aglow with a light from within. You climb the steps and approach the door. Hopefully it's unlocked. You take the handle and you pull. The door resists at first, but then it swings open. The warm, dry air encloses you like a blanket, and you proceed through the vestibule into the mosaic tile floor of the cathedral. The cathedral is full of light, adorned with colors and paintings, the smell of incense and candle wax. Take a few moments, look around the cathedral. Let it fill your senses with its ancient beauty. As you look around, you see no one else is in the cathedral. No one is kneeling before the tabernacle. No one is waiting at the sanctuary door. There's no janitor sweeping the floor. It's silent, silent in the cathedral. You stand in an owl alone, and you listen to the silence. But wait, out of the corner of your eye, you catch a faint movement, a huddled figure in a side pew, sitting with his head bowed asleep or praying. You watch him in silence, your heart pounding. Could it be? Could it be? You walk to the man sitting in that side pew. He's the reason you have come into this place. As you draw near to him, he lifts his face. Sit down at his side. Let him take your hand. Listen to him. He is speaking to you. You have known his call to service, shared with him now your frustration and fears. Tell him of your joys and sorrows and your labors for love of him, and then listen again to his words of wisdom. What is your biggest need right now? What is the request that surfaces from your heart? Tell him. What peace you know there at his side. But he's getting up. He smiles at you, but he's getting up. Without a word goodbye, he walks past you and heads down the aisle. Without a word of goodbye, he has disappeared through the cathedral doors. Get up now. Go after him.